In this paper, we present GeoLinter, a linting framework for choropleth maps. Our linter is based on VegaLite, a visualization grammar commonly used in data visualization. In the top left, we have the VegaLite script, which contains the specification of the original map. There is a diff editor that tracks the changes made. In the middle, we have the original map, which is a static image of the initial rendering. The Detected Violations panel contains directions on how to fix each design flaw. The Status and Global Options toolbar provides options for projection, caption, border options, and background color. The Classification Recommendation view provides classification methods and performance metrics to gauge the effectiveness of each method. Our framework uses mathematically proven methods in cartographic literature. After applying these fixes, the updated map appears in the top right, which also shows the improvement over the original map based on GBF and Moran's I metrics. We demonstrate how GeoLinter supports designers in creating choropleth maps based on a real-world case. The designers creating a choropleth map of U.S. freight shipments in 2002, the Bureau of Transportation Statistics has published its own version of a choropleth map with the data set. However, immediately the dataset is invalid for mapping as it contains an absolute value instead of a normalized value. GeoLinter applies normalization by population to convert the data into per capita values by state. This is done for anything else. However, this design is problematic as two of the legend colors are too similar, making reading a comparison task cumbersome. This leads to a legend color violation. The GVF score of the original design triggers the low GVF violation since it does not perform better than the average when compared to all other methods in our system. The first step is to fix the legend fill colors that are too similar. The designer selects a color palette defined by Color Brewer. The histogram for this dataset shows that the values range from 0 to 50,000 with no significant skew. In order to show the full data extent, the designer chooses a sequential palette with a high color variance. In this case, after iteratively exploring the classification recommendation panel, finally, GeoLinter recommends a seven class Jenks Cashpal classification. GeoLinter recommends Albers USA projection, a type of projection that is recommended by the integrated projection wizard. No major problems with background and border stroke are identified. After following the prompts, the designer creates a map with yellow, green, blue sequential. 7 class Jenks Kaspel classification on an Albers USA projection. The final design appears in the after softfix view and the corresponding code is automatically updated for embedding and websites.